Oh, hey, oh, hey. So just finished the first audiobook club uh, for the Black Women Feeling Good and Kicking Ass. Black Women Feeling Good and Kicking Ass meetup group that I am now the organizer of. Um, we have 641 members. And we um, had an audiobook club today around this book, We Should All Be Millionaires by Rachel Rogers. And she's speaking to black women, right? Yes, black women, we can and should be all millionaires if, if we want it, if you want it, okay? Um, so I'll share some of my takeaways. Um, one thing she talks about in the book is how a lot of financial advice or traditional financial advice targeted towards women will be like, spend less, spend less, shrink, cut, 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 cut. Don't do your lattes. Don't do those things that, you know, bring you some pleasure. And instead she's like, well, bunk that, expand, earn more. And I was part of, um, I was part of this accountability community around prosperity and work and money. And that was one of the things that um, my accountability people were telling me were like, instead of, uh, cause there was this time where I was just like, okay, I got to cut this expense here, cut that there, cut that there. And they're like, well, Valerie, that's very, you're shrinking. So instead we want to see you earn more. How can you open up? to allow more in, right? So that's a different perspective as opposed to shrink, scrimp and save. I mean, you can save and all of that. And instead of putting the focus on decreasing, how can you put your focus on expanding and opening up? Something else she talks about in the book is um, feeling like a million bucks first. And as opposed to um, trying to do all these tactics and strategies, like tactics and strategies, you know, I'm not poo-pooing that, but that's not the avenue to wealth, right? The avenue to wealth is feeling, right? Because when you feel a certain way about yourself and when you're taking care of yourself, you're gonna do expansive actions from that um what else something else she talks about too that i am definitely a, pro a proponent of and a believer in is you can earn more by doing less and kind of also shifting this relationship with like working hard because um historically traditionally working hard has been about working long hours and like sacrificing yourself and blah, 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 all of that, all of that stuff. Um, instead, you can do less of that efforting, open up, bring more self care, bring more joy into your life. Um, and by the person that you're being, you do less of that hustle shit and you're taking targeted actions. You're like taking those um, in another community, what we call a high income producing actions. Um, she talks about Madam CJ Walker a lot too um, in the sections that we, we, we listened to um, and how Madam CJ Walker had every excuse not to be a millionaire. She was the first self-made um, woman millionaire black woman, first self-made black woman millionaire. Um, and she had, there was, there were so many things that if you were to look at her on paper, be like, this woman has no business being a millionaire, yet she did it. Yet she did it, right? In a time in US history that was um, a hell of a lot more problematic for black people than it is today. I mean, it's still problematic today, um, but it was definitely like hellaciously more problematic during her time. So we really don't have an excuse, right? Um, 
And it's like this refusal to accept what society says that we can have, do, or be. <sighs> Some good stuff. Um, something else that she talked about, she talked about Octavia Butler's quote, uh, forget inspiration, habit will sustain you. And I think I actually um, did a, a, not a meme, but a video text, not a video, like a photo text last year in my Instagram feed. It's like way, 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 way down there. Um, but the full quote, I think I am like 100, I'm like 95% sure that I included that quote. Um, and there, and I think that's it. Oh, yes. And the final thing that I'll end on is, you know, Rachel Rogers talks about working hard is not a prerequisite to making money. So I'm just going to leave that. I'm just going to leave it there. Let that marinate and sit in. Um, our next book club discussion will be next Tuesday, October 7, 11th. 4 o'clock p.m. Pacific time and go to you know what here's the easiest way go to my website feelgoodkickass.com and on the home page you will see you just scroll down and you'll see black women feeling good and kicking ass join the meetup group and then you know as long as you a black woman come on in and partake in this audio book club and we also got some face-to-face uh, -face, some in-person social and business activities that are coming down the pipe till next time